Good everybody, I'm Brandon. Today I'm doing a video titled TikToks that cured my boredom during quarantine. Well, hopefully this shit cures my boredom, bitch. <laughs> Before I hop into it, uh, yeah, man. I don't even know what I want to say to y'all today. I don't really have nothing to say. Enjoy life. I know quarantine right now, niggas is bored. But figure out something that you love to do. Get creative with it. Literally, get creative. Sing, dance, write fucking poems. Anyway, let's hop into this video, man. Perks of being Samoan. Samoans are big as fuck. Y'all niggas are strong as fuck. Okay. Best ways to get girls? All right, teach me, bro. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, the homie crazy. Hey, you shady. This nigga. This girl's like 16. Put some clothes on, bitch. Mm. Bro. I had a girl yesterday at the grocery store flirting with me, my dude. She was 18 years old. 18, bro. Almost got her Instagram number, all that. But then I was just like, wait, how old are you? She was like, yeah, I know I look young. Anyway, she ended up telling me she was 18. I was like, girl, watch out. <laughs> she was cute as fuck, though. She was cute. She was cute. 18 year old, bro. I mean, I know I look young. All right. Look, look, look. Make me feel good about myself, huh? I'm mad enough to admit that, bitch. I mean, that wasn't funny, but she, she was just attractive. <laughs> hey, it's not safe to call nobody attractive on TikTok. They might be in high school, bro. So he's gonna try to tie a shoelace without tying or touching it. There it is. What, what the fuck? <laughs> what kind of magic trick? <laughs> what kind of magic trick? Nigga, I'm shit. The homie, the devil, bitch. Nah, let me stop. Hey, hey, hey. Notice I couldn't say nothing about the girl throwing it back. You got to... I don't know how he did that, but that was dope, bro. Hey, <laughs> this nigga a beast. What the fuck? That shit was hard as fuck. I'm like 80% sure that was a little easy. I think I've seen this before. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that is Uzi. Yeah. I'm sure she's not going to kick the door down. Oh, shit. Douchebag of the day award goes to this guy. This is Matt Coleman. He is a Tennessee man who raided stores and got 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizer and was selling them for up to $80 a piece on Amazon. Oh, shit. But wait, there's more. Now, Amazon and eBay have banned sellers from price gouging on things such as hand sanitizer, wipes, toilet paper, uh, and N95 masks. All right, that's good. So now, he's whining. <laughs> Saying that he's got 17,000 bottles of hand sanitizer that he can't sell. What a douche. <laughs> yeah, he tripping. But that's crazy, though. I mean, that was smart, though, at first. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so, okay. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> she lucky that that shit fired, though. I'm 
Oh, this is the girl's birthday, bro. Oh. <laughs> what? I ain't been broke in a minute. This nigga had the fucking damn facts. A lot of that stuff kills my The fucking tech deck. It's amazing to me how I'm eating so much and I still didn't gain no weight. This nigga is being born. Seriously, look at the toilet. It's smoking. No, come look. It's smoking. Really good deal, really cheap truck, uh, especially for how good it's been to us. And you see the inside here, it's in great condition, like really perfect condition, except for this one rip in the seat here. And also, you may notice we have murdered out fucking windows, okay? You can't see in that thing at all. Okay. So, with my theory of this being a cocaine running truck, I oh, decided to shit. Work That's what the I was putting here. And if you can see, there's a little rip down here that has been stitched up by the previous owner. It was put in there. Fuck is that? White uh, kids yeah, are gangsters. I just almost witnessed a double homicide, man. My next door neighbor, that white boy, is a gangster. I'm taking out the trash. He outside talking to his mother like, Mom, I'm going outside. I need to borrow the car. She said, no, Carter, you're not going nowhere. You stay home. Hey, white kids, I'm just speaking to the fucking car keys right now. I'm just speaking to you, like, don't you talk to your mother like that. He said, Donald, you stay out of this, you freaking prick. His mother like, oh, Connor, shit. that cracker said, Martha, if you don't give me the fucking car keys, everybody in this fucking house dies tonight. Okay. I said, damn, Martha, get it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know they tripping. <laughs> My boys got a risky text. Shit. Oh, shit. I said, oh, do shit. it, bro. Do oh, it, bro. Do it, bro. Do it, bro. Do it, bro. Oh, oh, my God. Hey, dudes always oh, don't be dudes, nigga. Niggas is always gonna be niggas, bro. That's some shit that home is still do. <laughs> All right. Wait. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hey, where do you find these niggas, bro? People like this really exist. Looks like my boy Barry. Him right there. Hey, low key. I ain't been broke in a minute. She was like 16, bro. Hey, Jilly, bad as fuck. I seen Jilly in person. I was like, I was like, she bad as fuck, bro. I feel like everybody about to, about to just be doing hella dumb shit, bro. <coughs> No, I ain't got no virus. Chill. <laughs> that shit was beating though. I can't be looking at these young girls, bro. Y'all trying to get me caught up, cuz. Hey, it was a cool little video. I'm not gonna lie. Some of these TikToks were funny. Some of them made me laugh. So, you know, I, I guess it did cure my boredom. Thank y'all so much for requesting it. If you liked it, you know, let me know down in the comments. See y'all next time. Peace.